Let me see. Seven. I'm going to try to close for the number seven CB and see if it's going to come out all right. Already then. One at a time. Just like that. Like that. Now, with number seven, we are going to close by doing this. Pass the hook between the stitch right here, or chain, however you guys call it, just like that. Put it up and get it through one and two loops. So now we're going to begin doing this, putting the hook below it, moving the CB out of the way like so. And we're going to put it up one at a time, like that. And make sure you get it through like this. If not, you return and fix it, otherwise it's going to be messed up and you do not want to mess up your pattern, all right? So. Like this. If your work is tight, it's gonna be hard to put the hook into the bead, actually below the bead, so just like that. This one more. I do not even remember how this pattern looks like on the program that I'm learning. So I have to redo this pattern again on the program so I can show you guys how the pattern is made. Very, very, very bad. Should it have been made bad? Sometimes I just, you know, after I use the images, then I put the images away and then I delete it. That was a huge mistake. And now I am on trouble. Very big trouble. Okay. Like you guys see, I'm using these two colors right here. This light blue and dark blue. A 
as soon as I get my other material, I promise you guys to make flowers with the number six. And let's say the background with size eight. So you guys can see the difference. I need to have at least four colors, maybe a bit more than that. I need a yellow, I need an orange, I need a blue, dark blue, light blue, and then I need a green too, and maybe black, so I can make black flowers with the yellow center and stuff. But that's gonna happen whenever I get my other order. Not right now. Not anytime soon, I guess. Okay. I do not like to do this kind of stuff like with more than seven, I mean, seven is a circle or beginning of the sequence or whatever. Because if you put it more than that, it's kind of really, really big hole in the middle right here. And I do not like it that much. I tried to learn how to make it this crochet ropes with uh, 12. And it was horrible. All the ZBs, when it's loose, they went in the middle. It was so difficult for me to learn how to do that. I thought I never going to learn how to do this. And the, thank goodness I found the um, patterns with yes, seven and a circle. That was great. Make sure you do not pass the hook in between the three like that. Make sure you get it all the way through like that. All right, move it out of the way. Put one on top of it, put the finger on top of both, and then grab the thread and pass it through two loops like that. That is the same thing you're gonna do over and over again until you finish whatever it is that you guys making, okay? Just like that. This thread that I'm using, I believe is like size 20, I think. I say I think because I didn't buy this. It's from the bag. When you buy the baby's food, then you open the bag and then you use the thread. That's all I'm doing here. Just like that. This pattern looks to me like a little steps. It's really cool. I cannot remember how many times I made this pattern. And whenever I forget how many times I did something, then I have to read it again. So I made sure I can tell you guys exactly how many times I picked up the pattern. Because if I picked up the CBs for one time to make the pattern, then I have to tell you guys what it is, you know? 
so I really not think this one is like one or two. Let me see about that. If this one is the same pattern, I have no idea if it is two or three times that I get the beads on it. I need to make sure the sea beads are for one or two times. It's the same process up to that second turn. So if I didn't tell you what I'm doing, that is what I'm doing. Almost get in trouble right there. looks to me like I picked up for two times the pattern. I will show you guys how many times I have to put it on the program. Okay. 